Uh, hi. Hopefully my shit's working. As usual, I'm going to temporarily disable performance mode just to check that all the audio sources and everything are all up and running. Yep, 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 yep. Everything is good. And I will be leaving that preview there for a while. Um, I think I am going to capture my thing here so I can show you all the games I downloaded. At the moment, I'm just uh, kind of deciding what to play. I downloaded a shit ton of downloads. That was actually the thing that spurred on the, the, the stream rework. Um, I downloaded a shit ton of downloads and I was like, wow. I kind of want to like make an event out of this. And I was like, but my stream could use some pizzazz if I'm going to make an event out of it. Because my stream sucks. Let's be honest, it sucks. So, here we are, I guess. So, I'm going to use the display capture today, since I want to capture Steam as well. Bloop, bloop, and game capture can be a bit of a pain, particularly when you're switching games a lot. Uh, it also means I don't have to care about capturing, because it's capturing my screen. Uh, uh, performance mode. So we got a lot of games. Um, not all of these demos are guaranteed to work because the next test has ended. So anything multiplayer, not gonna work, for example. Uh, uh, and anything that like was like, okay, you can't access the demo anymore, uh, is not gonna work either. Um, but anything where it's like, okay, you downloaded the demo, you're allowed to play the demo, that should work. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff, uh, some of which is from the last Next Fest that I never got to, like Anti-Prison here. And like, again, not all these are guaranteed to work. I'm not doing VR demos today for this, in this case. Um, Yeah, I'm not really sure where to start. I want to try Brock the Investigator, but I'm like, I'm not, I'm not on enough for furry trash right now. You know, just like the best kind of furry trash. Again, VR. Um, I should probably have separated the VR category. The Saladium. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't remember half the fucking shit that I don't. This I'm pretty sure is like a walking simmy kind of game. I want to start with like something a little bit high energy, some kind of viscera fest. What was this? I don't remember what this was. Is it an FPS? Yeah, okay. Doom style FPS, that's all I need to know. Ow, purchase. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't let me play it. I have to buy it now. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put that on my wish list so I think about it later. Cause I am a, I am a, a bit of a bitch for Doom. Let me let me tell you. Let me just bloop. Okay, hopefully, most of them aren't like that though. So I can uninstall this safely for now. It looked cool enough that I'm probably going to end up buying it at some point anyway. Why am I looking at Warframe now? Close the favorites. So I'm pretty sure anything here that says uh, play next to it is like good to go pretty much. Yeah, this this was multiplayer so it goes away, etc. so on and so forth. Um, It kind of sucks that, like, PvE games, you know, like, purely PvE games would close off the demo. I don't know. It seems like, it seems like it'd be just dumb to close off your demo afterwards to me. M maybe that's just me, though. Um, 
just seems like a like an ineffective way of marketing the game, I guess. Because what when when what happens if somebody comes across it again? Yeah, I'm just gonna hit install uninstall on some of these while I talk. Um, so it looks like most of these are still ready to go. Um, oh yeah, Chernobyl Liquidator Simulator. This is a weird one. Update that. This one might be what I start with because it looked weird and interesting. It was basically like a, um, okay, house flipper. I don't know if it, house flipper is a good comparison. I guess it kind of is. It's house flipper, but for the Chernobyl 